Hi, my lovelies. I hope you're all well. So as part of our group, UK Cricket Creators, we always do free virtual events and we often do 3D build. So we are actually doing the SVG Cuts Dragonfly Lamp. So I'm going to show you how you install it to your computer, how you bring it into Design Space, how you get it cut ready so that when you come to the event, all your pieces are cut out so that we can then put them together. So we're going to go to the SVG Cuts website, we're going to add the Dragonfly lamp to our cart and then we're going to select download so we can download it to our computer. Now you may find that it comes in zipped already or you may find that you need to unzip it. If it comes in like this, all you're going to do is double click it and it will then unzip for you. So you can then open it up You'll see there's a menu, a PDF and a JPEG. We're going to go into SVG files and you'll find your files. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting. We've got our files here and here and these are perforated cut line files. If we go into the extras folder, you'll find there's a solid score lines file or folder and then we've got the entire dragonfly lamp separated. Now this is where you have a choice to make. You can either bring this one in, which brings it in as a complete file, so you only need to upload it once, and then when you ungroup it, everything is ungrouped separately, so you don't need to use your contour. But you do need to make a choice. You either need to select this one, or the score lines or these ones because they are all slightly different sizes so you cannot mix it up you either need to individually bring these ones in or you can select the solid score lines and again you've got the separated version in the solid score lines or you've got the entire separated version in the perforated cut lines but you must decide which one you're going to work from because you cannot mix and match them because the sizes are all slightly different we're talking millimeters here but those millimeters are going to make a big difference i'm going to be working with the dragonfly separated and this is the perforated cuts version if you want the solid score line version, you just go in and you can find entire dragonfly lamp separated. But I'm going to use the perforated cuts version. So I'm going to go to my upload in Design Space, upload image. I'm going to browse. I'm going to open up my dragonfly folder and the SVG files. Or of course I can copy and paste into my pictures. I'm going to go to extras. And I'm going to bring in entire dragonfly separated. And this is the perforated cut lines. And we can then select open. And this is going to bring the entire file in. And I can then upload. I'm then going to add that to my canvas. Now you can see it's currently all grouped together. So we are going to ungroup it. But when we ungroup it, everything becomes separate. So we're going to start with these pieces first. So these are set to A4 which is brilliant and you can see that this is the actual structure of our stained glass piece. So this is all these pieces that you see here. These are all set to A4 so I don't need to do anything to them. I do however need to attach my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines. I've then got these pieces here which are panel pieces. They are set to A4 so I'm just going to attach those together. And then these are panel pieces as well. Again they're set to A4 and I'm going to attach those together. I've then got these sections here. These have all got score lines in. And you can move them individually or if you draw around them, you can move them all together. And they create part of our actual candle base. All of these pieces that are then in brown are our actual candle base and the top of our lamp. 
So these are all our bronze pieces in the brown. So I'm just going to make these into A4 sheets. And because I can move everything individually, it's nice and easy for me to do. And just keep checking as you're putting them together that they are within the parameters of A4. If you want them to be A4 or you can set them up in 12 by 12. I can attach these all together and when I attach them, not only am I attaching them together, but I'm attaching those perforated score lines or cut lines. And the same if I was doing this with solid score lines, I'm just going to attach those together to create one mat. And then I can put these together as well. And of course I can rotate these if I want to. I'm going to keep them as they are though, so that I know when they cut their positioning. So I'm going to attach those. Now these are larger than A4. If you cut them this way. However, if I hold down my shift key, I can rotate them and I can rotate them so that I rotate them perfectly. And I can then make them A4. But if you're using a pattern, you want to make sure that all of your bronze pieces, the pattern is following the right direction. So if your pattern is directional, then you may not want to do this. And if you do do this, then you need to make sure that these are following the same direction. I can attach those, bring them over here. I can then attach these and all of these are now A4 suitable. I can then put this one and this one side by side and attach them so that they are A4 suitable as well. I've then got all my vellum pieces which are these pieces in grey and these are going to be all our vellum pieces which we're going to use alcohol pens to colour in. So we're going to do that on the day so we can sit and colour in all of our vellum pieces but of course if you want to do it beforehand you can but really we just want them cut out and again I can set these up so that they are 12 by 12 or A4 pieces and if I want to line them up all I'm going to do is select the ones that I want to align I can go align and let's do align to top I can do the same with this one so we can align, align top, and then I can do this one, align, align top. I can check the size. I'm just going to move this line in slightly. Make sure they're not touching. And then once I've got it to A4 or 12 by 12 size, I can then attach. And I'm going to do that for all my vellum pieces. So I can attach these, I can attach these, and these. So we need to make sure that we've attached all of our score lines to our base cuts, which we have, and that everything is going in the right direction if we're using a pattern piece, especially for the candlestick part itself. We can then go to make it. We'll be able to see if we haven't attached any score lines because they'll be separate on a mat. We can go through and check everything and then we can go to continue, select our cut settings based on the materials we're using and we can then have everything pre-cut for the event. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, please do ask us in the group or send us a message or you can comment below. We look forward to making this with you as always. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.